Hi girls, welcome back to the Medics of Life channel. Here we're gonna have Blah Blah Club, yeah? Uh, I wanted to make it like Matrix your stories, but actually I'm not seeing even why I need to build the Matrix here, even though the girl who sent me this, she emailed me date of birth of, of, of her and the young man, yeah? But I, I won't even bother and why so, yeah? I, I will explain you. So our communication with this girl started with her email. She sent me next uh, email. I, I, I will read for you, okay? So good morning. Uh, I wanted to ask a question about my ex. He called me recently and invited to celebrate Christmas with his family. And well, yesterday, he sent me a photo from the Rolex store. And I asked him, are you buying these watches for me? And he replied, he replied, you are not my wife and you don't wear a watch. Yeah. Well, in the end, he said that I was worried about money and instead of being happy, Instead of being happy, I went crazy because I want money and he canceled the trip. I told him in response that he never gave me anything and the other city to send me a watch at his position is not very good. Yeah, to, to brag that he is buying Rolex Beach. Look at me. Yeah. Okay, so... Who do you think is Ron? And girl actually have strong like eight in her magic. She wants justice. She wants to know who is right, who is wrong here. <laughs> anyway, really, um, uh, is it really was necessary to support him? Or he was just rogue and mean to me? So, and of course, of course, uh, I, I replied to her because I needed more details, yeah, and she sent me two wonderful screenshots of the, of the actual discussion so I can see speech strategies. I can tell you who is right, who is wrong, I can tell you uh, where is manipulation. So let, let me open the screenshots. <clears throat> so she uh, messaged to, to his picture with this Rolex, Rolex, Rolex bitches. <laughs> For me? And he replied to her, are you my wife? Also, do you like watches? I never see, I never seen you with a watch. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And she replied, yes, I like watches. I prefer a bracelet, but I will wear a watch. Uh, and she asked him, yes, yeah, so, so why she is not a wife yet, actually. Uh, men who say they will spend on a wife, she replied to him, um, make no sense because if they don't give anything in the beginning of the relationship, they, they won't give even after. And he said to her, okay. And later, yeah, in few hours, he said to, to this to her at six o'clock of evening and she messaged to him after a few hours and that was a wrong move. That was a wrong move. Are you busy? I need the confirmation for Tuesday, please. Call me when you can. And uh, this Tuesday is actually invitation to this freaking, freaking, freaking uh, Christmas dinner with the family, with his family. And he answered like, never mind. And she was like, I don't understand. And he replied, I sent you a photo and instead of being happy and supportive, you blah, 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 fucking blah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Uh, we don't need even to build matrix here. This is typical case and uh, such cases I will be describing in my book, uh, Tinder. Psychic princess on the Tinder, yeah? Tinder wonders. I will be describing such cases because in, in one or another form, all girls are, are going through this. All girls are going through this, you know. 
uh, this sort of manipulation and this is clear they were in relationships this is x clearly narcissistic clearly he hovered her back or she hovered herself back uh, and he sold her shit like we are saying like so level I feel you spiritually like in 5d I want to invite you to celebrate Christmas with with my family uh, they usually doing this uh, because the more they will like promise you or show you the more painful this card face gonna be the more hope they will give you the more painful this card process gonna be and this not only with this girl situation because she was like okay just because we we had this misunderstanding about watches just because i as as typical girl i was sulking at you for for not giving me any gifts she pointed like all all these years in relationships they, they had years in relationships as we're talking about x and when i clarified and asked her how long you uh, two years two years without gifts any no for valentine day no for new year no for christmas for two years they were in relationship for two years he didn't introduce her to his family after this magical pop-up who will move, I feel you on 5D, blah, blah, shit. And actually, now she's in typical sulky girlfriend mood, but this is canceling the entire dinner. You shouldn't understand. This is canceling the entire dinner. This, first of all, he's trying to cause this uh, sense of guilt within her. He's trying to pull and like, okay, you guilty, you materialistic, you want watches. Asshole, wear flowers, wear some, some simple gifts maybe, yeah? Because she's right. She's 100% right. In, in two years, never a gift. And now she was like, oh, maybe he is choosing watches for me. Finally, after two years, a shitty narcissistic asshole changed. No, girls. No, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. No, no, no. And similar, like, um, recently, uh, one of you emailed me very successful author, Mm, and asked me to analyze her matrix who wrote like um, not a similar but again book about her experience with her ex-husband with whom they were going on two two week um, two weeks or two months vacation and he cheated on her just just few days before they they supported to go on this wonderful vacation they planned as a couple he cheated and let her know and discarded her just imagine how painful it was. And same tactic he is using here. And narcissistic to the core. Why the hell you sending me Rolex? I, I, I mean, like, what's the logic? Or you should attach a message like, look, I'm choosing uh, Rolex for myself. Yeah. Which one you think will look more better look better on my wrist yeah he uh, he just like as a very skilled manipulator he just dropped a picture with no explanation and from the entire dialogue look how how skillfully through speech strategies how skillfully he manipulates her her replies usually detailed. She's explaining herself. She's trying to explain why and what she behaved. This is like normal, any normal person will do. What will do narcissistic per person, narcissistic asshole? What he will do? He'll say, never mind. Never mind. Or, or just, okay. Okay. And that's it. And after this, okay, just two were okay. That's it. Like, uh, she messaged to him, are you busy? Who cares if it's this asshole, shitty asshole, busy or not? You know, like, who cares? Girls, and this is dangerous because her mind, like, stuck on him. And the fact that she allowed to hover herself back into this and for him this is green light that he can abuse her even more he can manipulate her even more because if she was okay with 
how dangerous this magical thinking is about which I keep repeating on my channel constantly. Fucking magical thinking provided and fed to you by many, many readers out there. With twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart, divine masculine, divine feminine. Fuck them all. You know, because... <sighs> Uh, this magical thinking, she, in her head, she came up with assumptions that two years, no gifts, no cares, no introducing to family for two fucking years. I, I, I would be running mad in two days already, I think. Two fucking years, uh, nothing. And now he dropped this picture <laughs> with Rolex. And what magical sin can go who watch tons and tons of these fucking assholes, so-called readers, yeah. <gasps> divine counterpart realized, divine masculine realized his fucking, fucking mistakes. Yeah, divine masculine, now he begging for your attention, he's coming back, he's returning for you, shit. Of course, she was very hopeful and she asked this stupid narcissistic asshole, is this watches for me? Because finally, and she confessed to me when we were chatting with her over email, she confessed, yes, I was watching this divine fucking shitty counterpart videos, divine masculine, divine, divine feminine, they, they twin, twin flame, twin flame fucking journey, yeah? So... <clears throat> Girls, twin flame jerk, and she asked like, where, where, which miracle should happen to this narcissistic, to the core asshole, you know, uh, that he will do something for her, I mean like, and you keep developing this magical thinking, this is very dangerous, instead of analyzing everything, analyzing his behavior, this is the quickest way to the, to the happy love life, to the happy relationship. But instead of this, you choosing this freaking magical thinking, like, oh my divine country, blah, 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 blah. Uh, girls, don't do this to you. And you know, even on, on my, like when, um, in May, I went on a date with a narcissist and I shared my experience in here, Tinder playlist, yeah? I went on a date and I was sort of, when I see that the person wanted to change location for the third time, I was thinking already like, okay, okay, I, I see where you trying to take it. And when he tried to kiss me, I was not surprised at all. Because like, change three locations, try to move, and like, was there like, baggy eyes, and come on baby, just give me a little something, just come on baby, give me something, yeah. Uh, already, uh, already, I understand, no feelings, this person... Uh, purely manipulator and manipulating me and after it was similar attempt to cause a fight and make you feel guilty make you feel guilty and this asshole said like there was again like they, they drop in like oh i'm going my cousin like having um getting married at at istanbul i i, I will be next week traveling uh, and uh, normal question, what the fuck I supposed to do with this information? I mean, like, what, what the fuck? Why are you telling me this? Like, I have only been on one date with you. You know, we're not in such, um, we are not in, in such level of, uh, let's say, intimacy for me to know about your family business. I didn't ask you for a second date, yeah, because uh, from the date one, it was clear to me this is a manipulator, this is abuser and, and everything, everything, everything. But goes again. Uh, <clears throat> he manipulated me uh, well, too. Uh, and it worked because I'm working with ghosts who constantly like in such situations. So I'm getting a lot of, lot of, lot, lot of situations like this, which are very negative. Very, very few positive experiences or situations. Of course, I want to change this trend with my book. Yeah. And 
he was like, oh, you too much into negative, like, um, attitude because of your clients, because you're dealing with such clients who blah, 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 blah. So this is the way how he got me on the second date with him. Yeah. Because he manipulated me, like said, are oh, you too much into your work? Are you already not able to see clearly. Yeah. But always trust your guts. Yeah. And my guts always uh, truthful about things and people I'm experiencing in my life. So here we go this information like my my cousin getting married and of course there was like okay dude maybe this is you getting married sir yeah so show me the fucking papers that you're not married why i should go with you on on a second date i i mean like really maybe this is your own wedding at istanbul and taking into account that on tinder he was like picture of him and there was next to him another like hijabi woman and i asked normal questions like who is this who the fuck is this woman next to you which cut it at the picture yeah and he said to me you are not simple russian female you know so with simple russian females probably such pictures going really well in in this fish pool uh called tinder yeah so he able to to pick a lot of lot of girls and to me was said you not simple russian female of course not you not your level and uh, situation with this uh, like i i i am going blah blah and blah blah and, and wedding okay next following normal men who say this they asking do you want to to come with me because i know how situation with wedding here there is always a room for fucking plus one yeah and if you go in and you share this with me a uh, normal yeah reaction normal assumption so you invited me probably as your plus one yeah but of course this did uh, this didn't went worse well because i didn't ask him and uh I, I knew this is used for manipulation i i uh, the moment he messaged this to me i already knew that this is used for manipulation and i was 100 percent right yeah instead i started to pressure him instead of invitation and shit but normal guys when they're telling you something like this yeah oh my cousin getting married do you do you want to go with me with as plus one yeah usually usually this is from normal man this is like this this sounds like this and here it was like, oh, come on, wait, 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 wait for a moment. And because of this, of course, the entire drama started. He uses this as, as a drama. And there was agreement. There was agreement about second date. And of course, of course, when I just returned as this girl, like, I mean, like, I, I need to clarify my plans for this day, dude, like and again goes no need for for extra moves with such as host to whom you give a lot of text and a lot of explanations of yourself and they give you something like okay never mind yeah or i send you photo instead of being happy and supportive you blah blah wait a moment wake up dude two years in relationship with such asshole as you should deserve more than rolex i think she deserves more than rolex where's the fucking lamborghini for her i mean like literally to tolerate someone like this in relationship for two years she should be awarded with a medal you know like golden medal um this is so insane and matrix no matrix it's pure blah blah club and speech strategies so so you can see such assholes if you see that you trying to justify yourself you're trying to explain yourself to a man and they giving you <clears throat> short answers like okay never mind <laughs> yeah <laughs> so don't don't get uh, like involved with such guys next 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 until you will find a normal one which task this task is not easy because nowadays a lot of such guys they were 
growing in screwed family com families completely screwed families with no normal male model with, with some sucking narcissistic mother in case of my asshole from tinder yeah uh, this is not easy task but still this is quite possible task so here we go <laughs> uh, and how he started to attack her are you my wife Oh, so do you like watches, you know, to... He may reply, no, baby, this is for me, but I want your advice. He, start, he, he went into, like, attack. He switched into attack mode. When normal communication supposed to be, like, no, dear, no, darling, this is, like, this is for me. I'm choosing for me, and, but, and, and or oh, but, so I need your advice. Yeah that's it but narcissistic person will go into attack they will attack you always because they insecure always they they have this lack of confidence always and go here was so confident due to this divine masculine divine feminine on twin flame <laughs> journey she was so confident that the chest said for me because a lot of shitty readers were sitting out there like, as if he's like, coming with a gift. <laughs> and with more serious intentions, of course, yeah, he, he hovered her back, yeah, as supply. I think this person actually, and I told this to her, has no intention to take her to this Christmas dinner. It was just to, to hover her back and later on under some sort of like fight or something, this could be move back, made like you're not deserving it yet. And actually how, how he did this, like you purely materialistic, you're not deserving to meet my family. I thought blah, blah and blah, blah. So pure manipulation and to send in you like a uh, text with this like watches and no explanation and she sent she emailed to me so i can see a speech strategies and when this asshole from tinder was crying to me about neighbor whom he made pregnant his neighbor i said to him okay open chat with her show me your fucking speech strategies <laughs> And he went directly into defensive and attack mode, like, oh, if, if you was in this case, I would be standing by your side, I would be protecting you no matter what. And I was like, oh, really, dude, you just know me for a few days and you already uh, on words, in words, ready to protect me. This is not right. This smells shitty. This smells toxic. And that you not letting me to make my own judgments and decisions that I need to take your side no matter what without I, I, I say to him. And he knew that I'm professional in this in speech strategies in analyzing what and how and where is manipulation lies actually and here it's pure manipulation like um call me when you can and and he like never mind like he doesn't give a shit to explain himself as this woman she is trying her best she's trying to explain herself and she he already succeed because she is feeling guilty she is, and, and she coming towards me, asking me if she is right that for, for two years, on uh, two years in relationship, breakups, and he hoard her back with his Christmas dinner and family. And of course, watching all this magical thinking and thinking that she actually manifested him, blah, blah, back in, in, into her reality. And she feeling guilty and materialistic no this is not okay two years without the gifts this is not fucking okay and if man constantly keeps you like oh when we will meet there gonna be gifts or blah blah this is as well red flag red 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 flag red fucking flag girls you should understand this don't wait like uh, he expects you to to wait him for six months or so until the meeting yes that's why i don't do this long long distance shit because it it's never worked 
it's just you will waste your time and I am already not 18 years old, but unfortunately when, when we were 18 years old, we inherited a model uh, from our family, like behavior patterns. No one taught us in school or university how to, how to go on dating, how to protect on boundaries. No one told us zero information and it took years of painful experience to, to learn things, yeah? And this case is like, uh, if he is not doing this for her now, <clears throat> unlikely he gonna marry her. And even if he will marry her, if there gonna be some sort of supply, because narcissists, they only marry when you can provide some sort of benefit for them, some sort of uh, supply, like one, another narcissist who, messaged me, uh, he married um, two women whose parents own a net of, of hotels in, in the country, yeah, he lives in. So that de definitely, yes, yeah, there was uh, great, great supply there, and which may, made him to made up his mind to marry her, yeah. Uh, so they only marry you if you bring in them some sort of benefits because they so much obsessed about like uh, providing constant verification for the ego you know uh, and i'm not seeing signs that he will marry her even if he will marry her i'm not seeing that he will treat her better and um she said but he said that he will provide for his wife provide really um he will provide for his wife a son male blah blah uh, this he will do only in order to control her if in prenuptial agreement she will ask him to buy like apartment completely on on her name which will stay after divorce divorce with her and maybe car and other things unlikely he will do this because he wants her to be completely dependent on her and this is not how alpha behaves goes so uh, how he went into attack mode after she asked this for me go tolerate it for two years two years of his shitty beha shitty narcissistic behavior providing him supply after for half year after breakup for for half year she was watching all this divine masculine divine feminine shit gen it's very general shit and i don't need to be a psychic to predict what's gonna be said in such shitty videos but i don't know why the hell you keep watching them like 100,000 use of this divine masculine divine feminine shitty shit instead of watching something normal like my video explain me this in the comments where are we talking about reality not about 5d in 5d dimension yeah how he connected to her no need flowers no need actions yeah just pure love but we're not in 5D, we're not living there. When you will die, love like in 5D. Well, while you on earth love how it's supposed to be on earth with gifts, with, with beautiful actions and, and... Oh my God, this, this is insane, I'm telling you. But everywhere, like same model. To, to promise you something, to give you this is like future faking. Because she was so happy, she was so fucking happy that she's going on a dinner with his family, with his parents. And now he humiliated her. He made her guilty for asking questions and this is walking on eggshells. When every time before messaging him, she needs to think five, seven times of will it cause narcissistic uh, tantrum yes or not how he would react on her simple question and simply she I, I think her question was pretty much normal because if you return in after the breakup with only blah blah and some sort of family dinner and horizon but without real actions 
I'm always telling you, look at pr what person do, what he did. He only said when, when he started to me to list uh, at our coaching session. Yeah, because we went into offices, we went into co after dialogue, we went into coaching session because she felt so bad. So working bad, she was crying and tons of tears and tears and all this. She saved all fucking screenshots of fucking videos she watched about divine masculine, divine feminine shit. You know? On, on the journey now. And keep asking, how? How this happened? What I did wrong? I was manifesting and, and he returned after I manifest. No, my darling, you wasn't loving yourselves and such, such shit returned back into your life to give you even more painful lesson. You was not loving yourself well enough that you allow the shit to get back into your life with no fucking actions. But I am sure my narcissist will never come back because my high standards without gifts, without buying me like minimum a car after narcissistic abuse I experienced, he have no chance of approaching me. No fucking chance, because I will not even listen to his bullshit. If I will see car under my apartment windows, yeah, downstairs, maybe I will think to open communication with him again, you know. And you should love yourself, you should appreciate yourself. But he is he returned in a very calm way, because she, first of all, was this magical thinking, like, oh, we on divine journey of divine masculine, and he's my divine, <laughs> I'm his divine feminine, he's my divine masculine, and we are very, very fucking divine. <laughs> no, my dear, no, baby. Like, <laughs> why? I mean, like, really, 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 what's going on, girls? <clears throat> so... Why he returned? Because he knows that she gonna take it. And he humiliated her even more. Maybe someone like me, I, I'm explaining you dynamic, yeah? Maybe someone like me goes him narcissistic injury and send him to hell where he belongs. And he needed some supply to see that somewhere... He needed with any shitty behavior. He's accepted with, with uh, like, whatever is going on. So he returned to her to, to suck this supply. To suck this supply out of her. With no intention to introduce her to, to his fucking family. If he wanted to do this, this is first three months. When you date into a guy and he is not introducing you to his family. First three months. Forget. Next. On to the next. On to the next. This is not okay. You know, each relationship and successful relationships, they have dynamics. Yeah. When we talk, especially when we're talking and when we study in dynamic of healthy relationship. And it's pretty obvious. And here, two years, no gifts, no gifts for New Year. And when I started to ask you what he did. Her description of what he did was started always. Started with, he said this. He said he invited me to. Did this ever happen of what he said? And when we started to, to dig deeper in this two, two years experience with him, he was saying a lot of wonderful things. And no one he did. Always he was finding her being guilty in something and this thing was declined. This said like they were planning trip together, like he was planning to take her on, on good vacations and fight. Created by him, again, skillfully, declined. So her brain, it's like uh, perception. She almost got a trip. When? Why is this? And she was blame, blaming herself. Like, 
because he was so serious. He was choosing tickets. We were planning the trip and then um, two weeks before we should buy tickets, uh, a fight happened. So, <laughs> it's always predictable with such narcissists. So, I'm writing my book and this is very difficult for me because same time I need to pay bills. I need to pay some extra bills here. Yeah, I need to invest in the book promotion. So, many people have opportunity to see it and to buy it. Soon on Christmas, I will be opening a pre-order of the book. I will be very happy if you can support me. I will be, because this knowledge is, you know, this is something much more valuable than divine masculine, divine feminine shit. You will learn speech strategies. You will have a lot of dialogues like this in front of your eyes. Yeah, I will be like explaining in my book. Step by step, I will be giving you different perspective to, to look on things which you consider normal. Uh, I'm not saying this is normal behavior from his side. And in such cases, when he, he sent your watches, this is purely narcissistic. This is like when we were on a date. This narcissist uh, get up started to take selfies of his ass and sent to his mom to ask if his uh, if his jeans uh, fit well on him and i looked at this circus of absurd like oh wait wait a moment yeah uh, this is very sick family dynamic when person need to do something like this <laughs> this is so sick and he was like no one gonna tell you better than your mom uh, what fits you and what not. And I was looking at him like, okay, this is something smelly here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, never go on dating uh, on a date when you're in stress. Because you're more vulnerable. And in this position, you're more vulnerable. And I will be sharing this experience as well in a book, yeah? And they can guilt trip you, uh, uh, guilt trap you and manipulate you, as happened in my case when he was like, oh, you every day dealing like with, with girls who in very painful situations, and that's true, yeah? And your vision, like, um, you you look at me as uh, you're projecting on me as, like, very negative, <laughs> negative uh, person. Like, as, as I am this, like, villain from this girl's stories. And I started to question my sanity because I was under huge amount of stress. I will describe this in in a book you will understand and i i, I was okay let's slow down let, let, let's give him a chance let's go on another date maybe i'm really too like judgmental on him okay uh, but you know this is never this way whatever you feel is right it's like whatever first impression you feel is right most likely it's gonna be right because what what we had here, like, are you my wife? <laughs> yeah. And he has no intention. Like, he is showing her her place. Like, look, you're not my wife. And I'm not seeing you. Like, because the person whom you see as your potential wife, you, you will want them uh, to... Choose them. And here he knows for sure, since he, he showed up and told her, that she is sitting out there and waiting for him. And that she has this trend and tendency towards magical thinking in her head. Yeah. And my narcissist, on, on the first date, he tried to, uh, since he knew, going with me on the date, he knew I was a reader. Yeah. Uh, and... Be, uh, I, back then I was like made it available in my account uh, I, I explained what I'm doing that I'm, I'm intuitive uh, and I'm doing terror readers for a living yeah 
because I'm very tired of uh, guys uh, from previous experience who's superficial religious and like, ah, you're gonna rot in hell. And since, since I'm in Turkey, yeah, <coughs> definitely I want a person who will not have this shit to shit in their head about terror readings, about intuition, about being a psychic because Again, because of this pop culture of psychics who've given you such shitty uh, readings about divine masculine, divine feminine, uh, we have a huge disrespect towards profession. When in fact, my profession is uh, should be highly respected because I'm highly professional in what I'm doing. But anyway, thanks to these readers and thanks to fish or viewers who eat in this shit, about divine masculine, divine feminine. Just just go search how many videos are there and how many views. So when I'm posting normal video on speech strategies on how to protect yourself, how to verify if person narcissistic or not, and he is purely narcissistic. He he is sending you like Without explanation, situation could be, the, again, we're looking at speech strategies because I asked her, okay, send me exact screenshots, how he sent it to you. Without explanation, because narcissists, they always giving you just a tip of an iceberg information, just a tip. And they feel very uncomfortable when you start pressuring them and, and get into the bottom of this iceberg. They get into very crazy defensive mode when you start doing this. So this situation with watch and the fact that she's not wearing watches. Yeah, me myself as well, but... At home, I have pretty nice collection of watches, but I didn't take them with me. I have something like 20 different watches of different styles, you know. Uh, mostly, you need to <clears throat> wear watches when you're out, and you're out for business meeting, and your phone may die, and so many different things. For me now, I prefer something to have like electronic watches, because mechanical watches no, not going well with me but still it will not stop me from having them yeah and this was entire silly stupid fight like for two years for two years he never asked asked her what does she like what does she wants it he doesn't even know what she likes, what she wants, which gifts she likes, which flowers she likes. She, uh, he never in two years, never gave her fl flowers. Never. <clears throat> this is ridiculous, I'm telling you. This is ridiculous. I mean, like, really? I'm looking at this and entire conversation entire speech strategies not okay but she stick she's so much like even after session i had a feeling it's not over she too much hooked on him just imagine she was waiting him six months this is crazy this, this is insane and he was sure because of her magical thing. Oh, we, we're returning to the how my narcissist tried to test my magical thinking, yeah? So on, on the first day, he is saying like, oh, okay, you see in the future, tell me hours. And I said to him, well, it depends. It really depends because we, we have factor of free will. And if you're choosing to be a narcissistic asshole, you know what kind of future I can give you. I mean, like, you have no chances. This is literally it. And uh, if I would be starting, oh, I feel we soulmates destined to be forever. No, this is not how things work. And from Matrix perspective, I know, yeah, you cannot make relationship work 
if you have your energy in plus or at least you're working on having your energy in pluses and person with whom you're trying to build relationship with they have in this energy in minus and if you think that you will be able to keep this relationship going and growing into something beautiful and serious you so much mistaken and if you're working on yourself and you're not seeing changes always in your person in the first two three weeks most likely you're gonna end up with other person don't do not hold on to them <clears throat> so this is to the question about what is what is divine counterpart <laughs> what is not a divine counterpart yeah i gave you like clear explanation here what is not divine uh, counterpart the divine masculine so this is a reading goes about divine masculine and divine feminine on the whatever journey yeah twin flame or not twin flame but journey <laughs> so <laughs> that's so funny I mean, like, literally, I don't know. And he has no intention to invest in her and made this entire fight. So this is going to be like carrot, you know, he's teasing her with this carrot Christmas dinner with his family. Now she failed some sort of shitty, a stupid exam in his eyes on being materialistic or not materialistic but being happy for for him buying himself watches it was similar situation when my narcissistic asshole was um preparing for hiking and got himself hiking boots and i was sort of like wait and what about me don't you think this is too selfish like you go on hiking and you want to be 100 percent secure but if I die or if if something bad happened to me, you doesn't give a shit. You you doesn't want to care of me. You doesn't want to show like even intention. I would appreciate, you know, at the beginning of relationship, yeah, not every man ready to, to do this very fast. Yeah, it depends again on your archetype. Those who sugar daddy archetype and we're not talking about age gap here now yeah just archetypes there, there are sugar daddies in really young age uh, they will take care they they will make sure like uh, what what you, that you will be secure he will say okay i'm 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 buying hiking boots for myself babe and let's buy one pair for you because i'm not sure do you have one yes or no let's get another one for you since we're going on this hike together and I want everything to be fine with you. That's how we'll normal, yeah? A warrior type of man, at least they will not, even if they buy in these boots, they will not tell you. They will not tell you. They will do it in secret and, and will not tell you. But narcissistic assholes, they have a joker type. Joker type of man, they quite often narcissistic. Oh, uh, joker archetype goes hand in hand with narcissism quite often and uh, here when we're dealing with joker he just need to shower like oh look i'm buying this expensive item for myself i'm buying this expensive for myself and the same was confirmation i got in regards to perfume like he said uh babe do you like my perfume <clears throat> and i said that's okay and he said are you insane this is 500 dollars like you does not understand the shit about perfumes and i was like okay take me to perfume store we will see who's right who's wrong uh, but they will be always like they need to shower their success in your face like because they used to brag this is part of validation for them 
they're like look at me look at me look at me and they will need to notify you for example <clears throat> my my joker narcissist was like sending me a message like I'm having a new girlfriend who, whom I enjoy. Yeah, enjoy it like a squatty potty. Yeah, enjoy. Because this girlfriend for you, she doesn't know better. <laughs> you you go after someone who doesn't know better attitude, better treatment. And now you're trying to shower in my face that, look, I have a shiny girlfriend. Okay. Your life, your squatty potty. I mean, like. Because this is really squatty potty situation. You know this squatty potty advertisement? <laughs> they, they, they should pay me for this action. <laughs> ah, this is not advertisement, but that was actually the moment when he dropped me this message. I was on a date with another guy and we were watching this squatty potty advertisement he was showing me. Like, Squatty potty, <laughs> and I was, it was so funny, I was like, okay, enjoy your squatty potty girlfriend, <laughs> it is healthy for you, <laughs> like, okay, so, they, like, replace you, not with someone better, but with someone who doesn't know what better man is, you know, like, and again, speech strategies, you know. And now I, I, I have a new girlfriend whom I enjoy. And you have no one, he said to me. And it was so funny because I received this message when I was on a date and we were laughing and we were watching this squatty potty advertisement. And just in, they have a saying here in my country that, Good people, good people always show up for a dinner or for a meal whenever you you start having a meal and some people calling you or stopping by or message. These are good people. We have this sort of like concept, oh man, let's say, yeah? <clears throat> and shitty people, <laughs> like my narcissistic ex. Uh, I would say even like narcissistic ex date, yeah. Uh, they showing up for shit, <laughs> and we were watching this squatty potty, and exactly the same, same like oh, message. <laughs> he decided uh, suddenly to unblock me and drop me this message about him enjoying his new girlfriend, <laughs> and this came exactly in squatty potty time. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, good people showing up for, for dinner and shitty people showing up for squatty potty. So, <laughs> I'm still loving because this was so funny and this will serve my book so well. I hope you're gonna have a good laugh as well reading it, okay, girls? Soon, soon, very soon, I will open pre-orders and, you know, you will be able to book a book. Okay, that's it. Let's chat. Let's connect in the comments. What do you think about this situation? What do you think about Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine? Her readings and so on. What do you think? Is it okay for, for a girl to want a gift after two years in relationship? And especially after he hoovered her back before Christmas, yeah? Drop, drop, share your experience in comments below. Let's connect there and see you in my other videos. Bye.